by David Barron, Houston Chronicle window, underscore tabula equals window, underscore tabula, underscore tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 4, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 4, target underscore type, mix, underscore tabula, push flush, true, Huntsville, TX, January 26, Martha. Photo by Bob Levy, Getty Images for Hilton, Les Huntsville, TX, January 26, Martha. Dot 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 More photo, Bob Levy Huntsville, TX, January 26, Martha. Photo by Bob Levy, Getty Images for Hilton, Les Huntsville, TX, January 26, Martha. More photo, Bob Levy Martha Caroli, left, and Simone Biles shared happier times before a sexual abuse scandal rocked the gymnastics world. Martha Caroli, left, and Simone Biles shared happier times before a sexual abuse scandal rocked the gymnastics world. Photo, Dmitry Levetsky, STFNBC to air interview with legendary gymnastics coach Isbella, Martha Caroli former USA Gymnastics Women's National Team coordinator Isbella and Martha Caroli have given an interview to NBC News regarding the USA Gymnastics sexual abuse scandal that will air at 6 p.m. Sunday on NBC's Dateline, the network said Wednesday. No details were immediately available regarding the content of the interview, conducted by NBC News anchor Savannah Guthrie at the Couples Ranch in the Sam Houston National Forest between Huntsville and New Waverly. The program also includes interviews with Olympic gold medalists Michaela Maroney and L.A. Raisman regarding abuse under the guise of medical treatment by disgraced national team Dr. Larry Nasser and the response of USA Gymnastics to their complaints against Nasser. Also interviewed is Gina Nichols, mother of former national team gymnast Maggie Nichols. Maroney, in a portion of her interview with the network posted on NBC's website, said Nasser molested her under the guise of medical care hundreds of times over a five-year period at the Caroli Ranch, the former women's team national training center, and at competitions around the world. He said that nobody would understand this and the sacrifice that it takes to get to the Olympics. So you can't tell people this, Marone said. I actually was like, that makes sense. I don't want to tell anybody about this, I didn't believe that they would understand, Maroney said she first was abused by Nasser at the ranch at age 13.